Sometimes it's the people who are unofficially your guides who are the best guides. So I was staying in Fisherman's Wharf, and I, instead of asking the concierge, I asked the door guy. So I said, uh, you know, I really want some really good Chinese food. And he turned me onto the spot on the border of Chinatown. And it turned out like 20 years later, it's like an award-winning spot. The guy at the front door, he knew where to go. In every country that I go to, I try and rent a car. It allows me to sort of get off the beaten path and just get lost. One of my most memorable experiences was in Italy. I didn't have any service or any navigation to get from the Milan airport to the city center, which is about 45 minutes to an hour. Everything was in Italian. I would stop every five or 10 minutes, hop into a coffee shop and try to uh, finagle some Italian Spanish out uh, where they could understand me and help me get where I was going. But I think that those kinds of experiences where you really learn to trust your own judgment, it's really important. The fact that you are able to kind of tailor your own trip and move about as you see fit is super empowering when you're on the road because at the end of the day, you are the master or the mistress of your own destiny.